Okay, so we're here checking on the installation of an SC6 digital timer and sensor system. Um, this particular system is a city water system. It has an indexing valve, which you can see here, and one electric valve, which is wired directly to the timer. Um, and then the sensor, which is running through this conduit, the wire, and then out that way is wired directly to the timer as well. Um, with this type of installation, you have the option of wiring the sensor to the electric valve or to the timer. So now I want to go over how to program a system that has an indexing valve because it is a little bit different than programming a system with all electric valves. Um, first I want to go to the zone setup and decide how long I want to run each zone. For this particular example we have four zones that are going to run 20 minutes. So um, I have to use the soak cycle method. soak cycle method, you tell it how long you want everything to run all together, how long you want each individual zone to run, and then how long you want it off in between. Because for this valve, we need to have it off for at least a couple of minutes to have it switch to the next zone. So it has to be off and then turn back on. So for this example, we want 20 minutes per zone, which times four comes out to an hour and 20 minutes total. That goes in the run time. Then we want to schedule our on time. That means means each individual zone. That's 20 minutes. And then off time can be anything from 3 minutes to 10 minutes, depending on how long it takes this individual indexing valve to switch. We chose 5 minutes. Another important fact to notice is that we can see this little sensor symbol on the corner in the zone type, and that means that this is being controlled by a sensor. The other option is to have a clock controlled and that means that it's just working as a timer and the sensor is not being used so it's important that, that be switched to sensor. The next step is setting our days of the week and then our start time. Um, here in Miami-Dade County we have watering restrictions two days a week so this one is Wednesdays and Saturdays and a start time of 3.40 in the morning. We do not want to give it multiple start times because they might interfere with each other. With the soak cycle it's going to turn on and off on its own so we don't need more than one start time.